Okay, Assalamualaikum. <coughs> so today we focus on chapter 5 which is the comparison of several multivariate population mean uh, but in your textbook it is on chapter 6 page 273. Okay, uh, so uh, from previous uh, chapter, chapter 4, you have learned about um, how to know whether a certain mean vector is a possible value for the uh, population mean, right? Multivariate population mean untuk satu population. But now, in chapter 5, we can see whether the several multivariate population mean, let's say we have two population, we can compare uh, the population mean of the multivariate is differ among uh, first population with the second population or first population with the third population and so on okay in the context of multivariate okay so mostly the assumption uh, for this chapter we will use the assumption of multivariate normal distribution or we are using the large sample size We also can see, uh, can review the univariate procedure for comparing several means that you have learned before this uh, in maybe dalam step method untuk univariate and we will generalize to the corresponding multivariate cases by analogy from the concept of univariate procedure we will use again in the multivariate cases by analogy kita akan tengok baliklah. Alright. Okay. So, uh, the first topic adalah comparing the mean vector from two population. Untuk dua population sahaja. Okay. After this, we can see uh, if we have more than two population. Okay. So, if we have two population, kita tengok dulu dia punya apa ni uh, descriptifnya. Let's say we have, uh, we consider a random sample size small n1 from first population and small n2 for the second population. Okay, we have the population with the sample size is small n1 and small n2. So the observation on p variables can be arranged as follows. Okay, let's say here population pertama, the first population, we will have x11 until x1 and 1 which mean the subscript of for the first of subscript to adalah um um apa ni uh, denotes the population this first subscript one uh, refer kepada first population another one to yang belakang tu refer kepada uh, observation observation pertama sehinggalah variable untuk first population n1 observation ok, yang kedua for the second population it will be x21 until x2 n2 ini adalah notation untuk variable so we have the uh, several variable for uh, population 1 and population 2 then we shall find the sample mean x1, x1 bar and sample mean x2 bar. Okay, and we also will have the sample variance s1 and sample variance s2 for the population. Population first and second population. Okay. Kena buat satu-satu lah untuk first population and second population. And then macam biasa, kena cari uh, mean vector dan juga variance, covariance. Okay, so our intention adalah to make the inference about the uh, about the two mean vector. Okay, our intention kat sini, kita nak tengok whether uh, both of the two population ni differ or equal. 
macam yang you belajar dalam step method kan okay. so how we can do that kita tengok the difference between first mean and the second mean cuma cuma uh, bezanya dalam multivariate ni kita akan ada vector sebab dalam first population dan second population kita akan ada beberapa uh, variable multivariate ok so sebab tu lah kat sini dia bold mu1 minus mu2 we want to make the inference uh, the difference between mu1 and mu2 which is the main vector for the population 1 minus main vector for the population 2 ok equivalent juga if we will do this mu1 minus mu2 equal to 0 which is we want to see whether the components of mean are equal ataupun not differ or differ right ok let's see the assumption concerning the structure of the data ok as you know kalau uh, multivariate we will deal dengan um, vector ataupun matrices so we will bold the x here so x11 x12 until x1n will be the random sample for p variate population with mean vector mu1 and covariance matrix um, big sigma 1 so mean vector mu1 ni refer kepada population 1 mean vector untuk population 1 tapi dia akan ada mean vector dia akan ada beberapa lah depends pada uh, you punya variable p variable so maybe it will be the mean vector it will be p by 1 lah mu tu kan uh, kita akan tengok how many variable yang ada so mu 1 vector mu 1 and vector mu 2 dia punya bilangan x bar tu tak sama lah it depends pada how many variable that involve in um, population 1 and population 2 but biasanya kita akan compare dengan <coughs> variable yang sama ok uh, covariance matrix sigma 1 big sigma 1 covariance matrix for the second population sigma big sigma 2 ok <coughs> uh, and then um, x11 until x1n1 adalah independent kepada x21 sehingga x2n1 ini dia punya assumption ok so you kena tahulah dia punya notation mu1 tu apa big sigma1 tu apa <coughs> Okay, and then for the assumption, uh, we have to this we have to know the further assumption when we are dealing with the small sample size. N one and N two are small sample size. So kena ada lagi further assumption. Kalau you punya uh, sample size is large, tak perlulah nak uh, nak penny take account the this assumption so it should be bila uh, n1 and n2 are small both population mesti multivariate normal okey untuk kita nak gunakan uh, the, the the method and then the covariance matrix will be same sigma 1 Big sigma 1 and big sigma 2 uh, is equal. It will it will have the common covariance. Kejap lagi ketika kita tengok, kita akan denotnya sebagai big sigma sahaja because of big sigma 1 and big sigma 2 are equal. Okay. Let's see. Okay, here. When big sigma 1 and big sigma 2 are equal ataupun dipanggil common variance ok so this part kalau you tengok dalam your textbook ada dekat page 285 <coughs> ok this is the way how we find the S pool untuk kita nak estimate the big sigma tadi 
Okay. Kita akan kira uh, we estimate the big sigma using the expo. So from this to uh, theory that we know we can produce this expo. Okay. Um, further explanation ada dekat page 285 but uh, for your level sekarang ni multivariate um, kita punya topik ataupun syllabus tak perlu you nak hafal cara nak dapatkan expo cuma you need to know ataupun you need to hafal the formula of expo which is the estimator untuk big sigma which is small n1 minus 1 divide n1 plus n2 minus 2 multiply dengan s1 ok s1 adalah the variance covariance metric for the first population and s2 adalah variance covariance metric the sample variance covariance metric untuk second population that we have estimate sebelum tu ok Alright. <coughs> Tadi kan uh, nak estimate mu, nak estimate mu 1. Uh, kita gunakan x1 bar and x2 bar. Okey, nak estimate the uh, uh, big sigma, kita gunakan s pool. Because we consider that big sigma 1 and big sigma 2 equal to big sigma we have the cover uh, common covariance okay let's see the method dia punya step sama first of all kena ada hypothesis and then kena ada test statistic and then kena buat apa ni uh, decision okay and then conclusion Okay, so kita punya intention to test the hypothesis of mu1 mean for the first population and mean for the second population equal to delta naught. Delta naught ni adalah notation untuk the difference between the two mean vector. <coughs> Tapi biasanya kalau kita just nak tengok uh, whether the first population and the second population is... Uh, differ or not so delta not ni kita uh, letak sebagai zero vector lah hmm. ok so uh, to make the test statistic first of all we need to know this assumption ok expected value of x1 bar minus x2 bar adalah mu1 minus mu2 vector vector of mu1 minus vector of mu2 and then uh, the assumption tadi bila uh, n small ataupun the, uh, the assumption concerning the structure of the data pre from the previous dikatakan uh, vector mean vector of x11 until x1 n1 are independent with the vector x to 1 until x2 and 2 because of x1 and then we, we also can say that x1 bar and x2 bar are independent and then because of that the covariance of these two main vector will be 0 so sebab itulah uh, covariance kat sini will be 0 so we will have Last sekali untuk dapatkan covariance of x1 bar minus x2 bar will be covariance of x1 bar plus covariance of x2 bar. Okay. And also, we know that from the previous, previous chapter, um, the, the covariance of... Uh, Min vector adalah big sigma divided by n. Betul tak? So, because of here, big sigma divided dengan n1. Here, big sigma 2 divided dengan x, x, n2. And then, we have the common 
uh, big sigma 1 and big sigma 2 so dia akan jadi sigma sepatutnya kat sini sigma 1 over n1 plus sigma 2 over n2 ini from the theorem from the previous uh, chapter maybe chapter 3 before this Okay, so because of big sigma 1 and big sigma 2 is common, so kita denote sebagai as uh, sigma saja. So because of that, sigma sigma over n1 plus sigma big sigma over n2. So because of that, this is the formula untuk nak cari covariance between x1 bar minus x2 bar. Okay, so we estimate the sig big sigma here dengan S pool tadi, the formula tadi yang kita create. So, uh, means that to estimate the covariance of x1 bar minus x2 bar will be x over n1 plus, sorry, 1 over n1 plus 1 over n2 multiply dengan S pool. S pool you need to uh, memorize tadi formula before this ok let's see the results of 6.2 from your textbook dekat page 286 <coughs> ok this the way how we create the um, test statistic t square sebenarnya ok ok ni ni I cakap tadi tu if x11 until x1 n1 adalah normal with uh, mean vector mu1 dan sebenarnya kat sini big sigma1 kan sebab tapi uh, because of uh, assumptionnya adalah the big sigma is common common covariance so dia akan jadi big sigma sajalah kat situ okey so the t square adalah kan sebelum ni kan x bar minus mu kat situ kan x bar x bar minus mu transpose multiply the inverse of s multiply x bar minus mu so kita gunakan konsep yang sama because of this uh, kita akan gunakan um, distribution of x1 bar minus x2 bar so kat sini akan jadi x1 bar minus x2 bar so minus x uh, x uh, min which is mu1 minus mu2 and then multiply dengan inverse of the kat sini variance covariance matrix so kita gantikan dengan estimation of the big sigma tadi here and then here so this t square will be distributed f, f, uh, as f distribution ok yang ni c square yang, yang you dah hafal sebelum ni so sama juga so you kena hafal this one ok ok this c square ok so we will use this untuk nak buat the um, decision rule nanti ok this is the test statistic t squared ok so we see the method here the hypothesis will be min vector mu1 minus min vector mu2 sepatutnya mu kat sini will be uh, bold lah kan sebab min vector min vector mu1 minus min vector mu2, bila sebut vektor dia akan jadi, so maksudnya mu1 ni uh, vektor mu1 will be p by 1 and vektor mu2 will be also p by 1 and then dia punya dimension sepatutnya sama lah and then equal to delta naught dekat sini, kalau kita nak tengok difference between mu uh, first population mean for the first population and second population delta naught dekat situ akan jadi zero vektor ok, this is the t square tadi the t square and we compare with c square ok this is the formula ok we will reject hash naught if the value of t square more than the value of c square ok bila reject hash naught apa kita kita akan conclude macam mana if the hash naught is rejected we can say that the mean for the first population and the second population are differ the ataupun kalau you ada uh, the population ada nama dia and then 
the variable pada nama dia you you can uh, put the name of the variable and the name of the population in your conclusion let's see the example okay example 6.3 dalam your textbook ada dekat page 287 we have this example from 6.3 tapi dalam your textbook dia gunakan method yang berbeza dia gunakan method ellipsoid boleh juga sebenarnya ataupun kita gunakan method hypothesis testing dua-dua pun boleh sebenarnya satu lagi adalah gunakan confidence interval so ada tiga cara lah sebenarnya nak tengok whether the mean of the two population are different or not ok gunakan hypothesis testing ataupun gunakan ellipsoid region of ellipsoid ataupun gunakan simultaneous uh, confidence interval ok let's see macam mana nak gunakan hypothesis test ok information from example 6.3 uh, saying that 50 bars of soap are manufactured in each two ways two characteristic whether leather or minus are measured and minus are measured ok so maksudnya kat sini we have two population which is two method tu adalah dua dua population lah first method and second method two characteristic whether it is leather and minus tu adalah your variable Okay, so given the information here, uh, we can say that the sample size is equal 50 and x1 bar here adalah x1 bar here adalah uh, x bar untuk first population untuk method pertama dan x2 bar ni kat sini adalah population, uh, sorry mean untuk the second method Kat sini value 8.3 here adalah mean untuk first variable which is ladder for the first method. This one 10.2 adalah uh, mean first characteristic ataupun first variable x1 okay, untuk second population 4.1 adalah min untuk minus for the first population 3.9 min untuk minus for the second method which is the second population so dekat sini and then di sini S1 dan S2 here adalah variance covariance untuk first population and variance covariance untuk second population so 2 kat sini 2 here adalah the variance for the variable latter for first population. 2 here variance for the first population uh, sorry, variance for the first variable of second population. Faham tak? Kena faham betul-betul eh? apa dia dia punya annotation tu. Takut tertukar because of we have two methods and uh, two characteristic we have two population and two variable here okay so in order to find the t square we need to find the variance covariance now, kita nak estimate the uh, big sigma tadi untuk untuk uh, x1 uh, untuk mu1 minus mu2 okay estimate the sigma S pun ni estimate the big sigma of distribution X1 bar minus X2 bar. So, ini dia punya uh, mean, uh, sorry, um, variance, covariance uh, matrix. So, we get this value and then X bar, 1 bar minus X2 bar is this. Okay. <coughs> So, we stated the hypothesis testing. Find the value of t square. Since we have all the value tadi, dah ada x1 bar minus x2 bar and so on. From this here tadi. So, we can calculate the value of t square. Delta here, delta here and here will be zero because of kita nak tengok delta here and delta here is zero 
because of we want to see whether there is a difference between the two population of the multivariate uh, uh, population okay so we have the t square here and then make the decision rule so you need to find the value of c square to compare with t square so since t square is 52.47 and uh, nanti check dia punya F distribution the value of 6.244 so because of 52.47 more than the C square 6.244 so we reject hash naught so what can we conclude from this uh, rejection of hash naught we can say that the two methods of manufacturing soap produce different results okay because of two methods are differ so it will give the different results okay we move to the confidence interval <coughs> as i said before this we also can use the confidence interval to make conclusion about the uh, difference mean difference between the two population okay Cuma uh, using the hypothesis testing, uh, we can make conclusion whether the mean vector of the two population are differ or equal, right? Okay, uh, kita boleh make conclusion straight away, but using the confidence interval because of we have uh, several variable so we need to see the confidence interval for each variable then if each of the variable having ataupun concludes that the two population are differ barulah we can conclude that actually the two population uh, are differ the characteristic of the two population are differ Okay, let's see the formula. Kita gunakan konsep yang sama macam sebelum ni. So, because of we want to find the confidence interval for mu 1 and mu 2, first mean of first population and second population, it will be uh, mean vector first population minus mean vector second population plus minus C here adalah kita gunakan F distribution from the uh, previous uh, ni, topic sebelum ni you know how to find the c square c square here but now kita letak c multiply the variance covariance and no actually multiply the variance for each uh, variable okay so I, as i said before this and eh? um uh, we find the confidence interval for each variable. So here, mu 1i minus mu 2i. I tu adalah refer kepada uh, variable. Let's say we actually uh, let's say we have two population, we have two variable. So we need to find the confidence interval uh, for both first variable and second variable. So it will be mu. 1 1 minus mu 2 1 for the first variable and then kena cari satu lagi confidence interval for mu 1 2 minus mu 2 2 means that kita cari confidence interval uh, for second variable ok alright so this is the formula ok let's see the example example ni actually uh, example 6.4 in your textbook page 289 okay calculate the simultaneous confidence interval for the, the differences in mean component of two population okay let's say sample size uh, for the first population is 45 the second population is 55 were taken of wisconsin homeowners with and without air conditioning so maksudnya kita ada dua population homeowners with air conditioning and homeowners without 
air conditioning to measurement of electrical usage okay measurement kita electrical usage uh, were considered this first is a measure the first is a measure of total on peak consumption the electrical usage on peak consumption will be the x1 and the electrical usage for the off peak consumption will be x2 so we have two variable we have two population and we have two variable so kita punya variable adalah electrical usage on total peak and electrical usage on uh, sorry total on peak and total off peak okay all right so the the information given here dia bagi you uh, x 1 bar, X2 bar as I mentioned before this 204.4 ni adalah refer kepada um, mean for the mean of electrical usage of on peak consumption which is X1 for first variable 556.6 adalah mean of electrical usage of off peak consumption for first population 130 is the electrical usage of on peak consumption for second population 355 adalah electrical usage ataupun mean electrical usage uh, of peak consumption for second population Okay, so ini adalah variance covariance for the first population and second population. So here adalah variance for the first variable, variance for the second variable. Okay, of first population here, variance for first popula first variable for second population, variance for second variable for second population okay all right so in order to find the confidence interval for each of the variable we need to find the s pool okay using the formula before this and then you can find the c squared so with all this information we just apply the formula of confidence interval interval about the population mean difference okay so tengok kat sini here on peak here of peak means that we find the confi confidence interval for the mean uh, different population population mean difference we find the confidence interval for the population mean difference for every variable Okay, for the first variable, we use the information sebelum ni, 204.2 minus 130, means that, okay, 204 adalah uh, mean untuk first variable for first population, 130, mean untuk first variable for second population. Okay, sebab kita nak tengok untuk first variable on peak, the electrical usage. On peak consumption. Okay, we use the information given here. And then here, 10963, we get from here. Okay, into first variable. And then, apply the same thing for the second variable. Okay, so, last kali, the result that you get, uh, the di mean difference for first variable will be 21.7 uh, will be in the range of 21.7 and 127.1 so it seems that this two interval does not include zero so we can say that the mean difference are significance the mean difference of the two population are significant for first variable Okay, tengok pula untuk second variable pun sama 
the interval does not include 0. Okay, so both of the confidence interval for each of the variable does not include 0. So what can we conclude for overall? There is a difference in electrical consumption between those with air conditioning and those without. Maksudnya ini adalah population kita. Population kita, kita tadi kan adalah um, homeowners with air conditioning and without air conditioning. So we can say that the difference in electrical consumption between those in uh, first population and second, second population are differ. The difference is evident in both on peak and off peak. Kalau both of the confidence interval adalah um, a differ, we conclude as, dif as differ. So, for overall, baru kita boleh katakan there is a difference in the mean electrical consumption between the first population and the second population. Okay, if we are using the confidence interval. Alright. Okay, the next one adalah confidence interval untuk uh, Bonferro ni. Macam sebelum ni, previous chapter pun, I have mentioned, there is two, um, there is two formula to find the confidence interval, whether gunakan T square interval ataupun Bonferro ni kan. So, sama juga kat sini, kita ada dua formula uh, Bonferro ni dan juga simultaneous confidence interval gunakan cara biasa tadi. Okey, uh, apa beza antara bon, bon ferro ni dan yang sebelum ni for this one? Okey, bon ferro ni will will give the result of the confidence interval that is more narrow. Okey, narrower or smaller confidence interval it tends it tends to have the apa ni? More precise result. So, uh, actually, kita biasanya, usually we will use the Benferoni simultaneous confidence interval. Apa bezanya? Kalau you tengok the formula dia, sama je dekat sini, sama dekat sini, cuma bezanya dekat um, distribution. Sebelum ni kita gunakan F, kan C tadi, C square kita gunakan F, but here kita gunakan T distribution. Okay, so... Uh, nanti you try buat using the same uh, example using the same example but you use the Bonferroni confidence interval and you can see dia punya beza lah uh, dia punya range of the confidence interval and Bonferroni is narrower ok ok how about tadi kita cerita tadi kan gunakan um a test statistic dan juga, guna, juga gunakan confidence interval untuk small sample size dan dan uh, common covariance betul ok so let's see pula how if the two sample situation when a big sigma 1 not equal to big sigma 2 maksudnya we don't have the common covariance. So, if this case happen, we cannot use the previous formula. Okay. Let's see. Uh, if this happen, we unable to find the value of t square. So, we will use the concept of uh, ataupun we will change daripada F distribution kepada chi-square distribution but if and only if it involve large sample size ok let's say if N minus 1 minus uh, sorry N 1 minus P and N 2 minus P are large so we will use this formula to calculate the confidence interval ataupun to make the decision about the uh, difference between two mean. Okey, kita guna, akan gunakan 
uh, theorem which is we use the uh, chi-square p okay this theorem that you have learned in chapter 3 before this okay so simultaneous confidence interval for mu 1 main vector 1 minus main vector 2 maksudnya main vector for first population and main vector for second population will be this formula bezanya dekat sini tadi kita gunakan sama ada C which is F distribution ataupun T distribution now kita tukar kepada chi-square distribution and then bezel dekat sini when you want to find the uh, variance Okay, we to find the variable when we want to find the variance kita gunakan this formula okay uh, kalau small sample size because of uh, we deal with the large, large sample size kalau small sample size tadi kita akan gunakan s pool and because of the variance covariance have the common uh, covariance can for the first population and second population Okay, but if a large sample size tadi, large sample size for the first population and second population is equal, is equal, kita guna balik formula S pool. Kenapa? Actually, daripada sini. Nanti you boleh try derive. But in exam, no need for you to derive of this. Just you need to know saja. Tapi kalau nak guna formula yang sama pun tak ada masa. Alah. Okay, let's see the example untuk large sample. Okay, let's say kita gunakan example yang sama tadi which is the uh, electrical consumption for the home owners with air conditioning and without air conditioning. We have the um, uh, information about the main vector and also the uh, variance covariance metric for each of the population okay okay so in order to use the large sample approach we need to find the new variance covariance ataupun uh, estimate of the big sigma okay we have this nanti boleh check Okay, so sama dia punya method we have we 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 use the same approach which is we need to find the confidence interval of the mean difference of the population for both of the variable because of we have two variable that again x1 and x2 so this one sama here kita gantikan dengan chi square distribution degree of freedom is 2 because of p is 2 and here adalah a standard deviation for the first variable which is we take from here ok di sini here we take from this matrix so lastly you will get this 2 um, confidence interval seems that both of the confidence interval does not include zero so we can make the same conclusion as before this lah ok um, you can interpret the confidence interval for each of the variable ok and then last kali make the conclusion about the overall of the mean difference of two population okay okay how about macam tadi kan kita deal dengan uh, small sample size I dah tunjuk macam mana nak gunakan hypothesis method dan juga confidence interval method to make the conclusion about the difference uh, mean difference uh, of two population so this one pula adalah confidence interval bila kita deal dengan large sample size 
which is we replace the t or the c with the chi square distribution okay how about if we want to uh, doing the hypothesis testing dia punya um, hypothesis sama macam sebelum ni cara nak cari t square actually gunakan approach yang sama cuma bezanya di sini s ni kita tukar kepada this formula because of we deal with the large sample size ok and then kita compare kan nilai t square here dengan chi square p ok so you akan dapat kat sini t square more than the value of chi square 2 which is 5.99 therefore we reject hash naught so we can make the conclusion that sama macam tadi jugalah kita can we can make the conclusion that um, the electric consumption uh, the electric consumption the mean sorry eh, the mean electric consumption for both population which is with uh, or without the air conditioning are differ ataupun you can say that um, the mean difference the mean difference of electrical consumption for home owners with air conditioning and without conditioning are significantly differ Okay, itu sahaja untuk.